1982, the year we got Adobe, the Commodore 64, E.T. the movie, and the Falklands War. But we also got something else, and that was DXF file format, or uh, drawing exchange format. Now this is a crazy old vector-based drafting uh, file format, CAD format. So it's available in so many different packages. There's so many places that use it. I've seen it in CNC machining, in engineering, in um, CAD packages, of course, and also um, drawing packages like Corel Draw and things like that. So how do you create a DXF in AutoCAD? Well, let's have a look at AutoCAD. Now say, for example, I've got this floor plate here. Now in this case, the engineer wants this floor plate or this structural framing plan in a DXF format because they're going to use it in their analysis software. So there's, it's pretty simple to um, save it as a DXF. So it's not in export. If you've been diving around there, you won't find it. If you just go save as, and you pull down, down the bottom here, underneath all the DWG formats, you've got the DXF formats. Now there's a bunch of different ones there. I normally use 2010. That seems to be work with most. They've got the old ones there as well because some old equipment still uses the old formats. Now another trick that you can do is type in DXF out. DXF out creates the same thing too. So it basically just goes the save as command. So you can use that command to, to save it. So let's, let's save our floor plate here, structural floor framing plan as a DXF. And what I'm going to show you now is that you can use this free viewer, um, which is a web app from Autodesk. So viewer.autodesk.com. So let's just get that over. So I'll go to that file and drag and drop that over, that DXF file that I just created. So we can have a look at what that DXF file is and what it looks like. So I've never used this before, this viewer. So this will be interesting to see what happens. This may take a few moments. Hmm, I wonder how long. So DXF was way more popular pre-2006, I would say. I, I think something happened in 2006 with DWG becoming more open source because someone uh, backwards engineered it. So you, most, you find most CAD packages now are DWG compatible and even some of the CNC machines and stuff can take this, the um, DWG. So you can see here with this DXF viewer, you've, you've, you've got, so bear with me because I've never used this before, this viewer. So you can scroll in and out and zoom. So it, it looks pretty, pretty good, doesn't it? It looks almost identical. So if we zoom in on this lift core here, 650, 650, the fonts are coming out, the line work. And if I whiz back to AutoCAD, it looks almost identical, except with the white background. So that's uh, DXF and how to export it from AutoCAD.